What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here. I hope you're feeling brave today because we have something that's not for the faint of heart to talk about in this particular video. You might see my couple of bottles here of Quests and Whiskey behind me, the Paladin and the Rogue, the first two drops in Fine Familiar Spirits line of amazing bourbons. Well, what if I told you that the team behind Quests and Whiskey was partnering up with a very popular TTRPG creator community, and that would be Critical Role. That's right, Quests and Whiskey is joining up with Critical Role to produce quite the interesting drink. So first we're gonna watch the trailer, then we're gonna watch what it's referencing, and then we're gonna talk about the press release. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. That's right, folks. Fans of Campaign 1 of Critical Role will know of Sand Keg's Hide. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't kept up with the more recent campaigns of Critical Role, so I don't know if Sand Keg's Hide has come back in some form. But I know it from the first time ever when visiting Ankarel. Uh, this doesn't really spoil anything for the terms of Campaign 1 if you haven't seen it, but... Essentially, the party bought, or Grog specifically, bought two bottles of this very expensive drink called Sand Kegs Hide. And we have a little clip here that I was able to find over on YouTube of Percy and Keyleth trying it for the first time. Just a short little clip here. I take them by the cheeks. Can you feel this? Yeah. You can. <laughs> Can you feel this? Uh, uh, does it taste good? No. Uh, <laughs> Do you recommend it? So this was a very powerful and fierce drink that basically the members of Vox Machina considered, basically it kind of thickens your tongue as it were, it makes it harder to speak. And yeah, we're getting that as an actual physical alcohol that you'll be able to buy going on sale May 2nd. So I do have a press release here that we can go ahead and read through. So it says, Matthew Lillard and Justin Ware's Breakout Spirits brand quests and joins forces with Multimedia Behemoth Critical Role to announce a limited edition premium whiskey. So available for pre-sale on April 30th to May 1st and on sale May 2nd to May 23rd, each bottle is accompanied by an all-new story, which is pretty cool. Again, famil those familiar with quests and whiskey will know that there is a story written along with each bottle. So a brand new story set in the Critical Role universe. So fans of booze, fans of Critical Role, and the storylines and stuff, this is definitely for you. All right. So multimedia platform sensation Critical Role is teaming up with celebrity actor gaming entrepreneur Matthew Lillard's fine familiar spirits, makers of quests and whiskey, the world's first fandom-centric spirit, to create Sand Keg's Hide, an in-world limited edition super premium whiskey for fans of the wildly popular Critical Role universe. A custom blended small batch bourbon, Sand Keg's Hide sprung from the lore of Vox Machina campaign one of Critical Role's celebrated streaming series. Sand Keg's Hide is introduced in episode 65 as a, quote, fierce alcoholic beverage produced in the mountains of Marquette from the acidic bile of a sand keg, an eight foot tall insectoid creature, right? This is very Ankeg, for those of you in the 5e universe, Ankeg, very similar, right? Inspired by the description of the bottle in the episode, the exciting new bourbon comes in a dark green glass with a distressed label, wax seal, and exclusive coin medallion around its neck tucked inside a burlap bag. Designed to look like an in-world shipping crate, the whiskey's unique box also ha contains a, quote, found journal from the Exandrian maker of Sand Keg's Hide that tells the story of this unique concoction written by Jasmine Bilar with an all-original art uh, 
with all original art by illustrator Tyler. I think it's Walpole is how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, and a map by fantasy cartographer Devin Rue. Uh, are now, I'm going to say famous uh, master blender. I, I want to say it's Ale. I, I really need to learn this. I'm so sorry. Uh, Ochoa used in-world flavors as inspiration to create her blend and barrel finishes with base bourbon notes of baked apple, brown spice, shortbread. Could, could you just make, do you make these for me? Is this, do you just make these to target my palate? Is that what it, is what it seems like? Uh, anyway, notes of baked apple, brown spice, shortbread cookie, and oak blended in whiskey finished in vermouth barrels for herbaceous notes and whiskey finished in sherry barrels for dried fruit, uh, dried red fruit and a hint of smoke. That is a lot to unpack, but that sounds phenomenal, right? Apple spice shortbread, and then the little bit of the kind of, herb I wouldn't, uh, does vermouth have herbaceous notes? I'm not like a huge vermouth guy, but... Either way, uh, and this is founded by Lillard and screenwriter Justin Ware, the Blue Run Spirits co-founder uh, Tim Sparapani as advisor. Find familiar spirits recently burst into the super premium spirits, Quest and Paladin, Quest and Paladins Plus One, and now Rogue. Um, so again, we don't really need to talk too much about that, but we can say from the gorgeous in-world Exandrian bottle design to the delicious whiskey blend, to the incredible all-new critical role art and story in the journal, we're insanely proud of what we've created with Sand Keg's Hide, says Lillard. We think critters are going to freaking love it. Uh, and then we can jump down here. We wanted to do something special for our fans, and we wanted to pull something from the actual lore of the show. Uh, says Seanette. Licensing manager at Critical Role. Quest ends as a natural fit as a partner. Both our companies have an authentic love for storytelling as well as fantasy gaming. It will be sold direct to consumer only through the Quest End website, questendswhiskey.com. Their distributor is Sealbox at sealbox.com or on the exclusive site, sandkegshide.com. The run will uh, the sale will run for three weeks only, so the limited run offering is going to be sure become a collector's item. To that point, Critters, fans of booze, if you're looking for this, obviously Quests and Whiskey sold out like crazy, and that was brand new on the scene. It wasn't tied to Critical Role. This obviously has Critical Role tied to it. This stuff will sell out probably immediately. If you're looking to get a bottle, I highly recommend that you jump on, you get in, and you try to do it as soon as possible. This might be a get your friends involved too. It's going to be, I mean, it's it's super premium whiskey, right? So there is a price tag associated with that. I'm not sure what the price tag is going to be ultimately at the end of the day. If it's similar in nature to uh, the Quests and whiskeys that we have behind me here, you're probably looking at something around the price of 150 or so dollars, if not more. So consider that when you're looking at it, but also if you want it, you're probably going to need to jump in pretty early to get access to this. Uh, I am checking to see as of me recording this, sandkegshide.com is not uh, live, so I can't tell you the exact pricing. But uh, yeah, I I'm very excited for this. This is amazing to see because now... They've established a licensing agreement with a company that does TTRPG stuff, so we could see other drops like this in the future, right? Whether that's working with somebody like Wizards of the Coast. Obviously, we know Wizards of the Coast is looking heavily into licensing this year. There's the potential for, you know, in-world, in-universe booze from the Forgotten Realms. We could see possibly something happening, more stuff from Critical Role or from other companies, but becoming the sort of fandom-based uh, super premium whiskey company is a really awesome thing to see. Also, be on the lookout. I don't know the order in which these are going to release. This video, I think, is going to come out first, but I also will be setting up time to interview Matthew Lillard again to talk about both Quest and Whiskey and now Sand Keg's Hide, and I'll also be taking time in the future to interview... Uh, Jasmine Bilar, who you may or may not know from, you know, her very streaming things, as well as playing uh, Certainty Drawn in the Acquisitions Incorporated series. And then again, also Tyler uh, Walpole, the the, uh, the illustrator, and Devin Rue, the cartographer. So I'll be doing two interviews over the course of the next two weeks, one with Matthew Lillard and the other with Jasmine, Tyler, and Devin to kind of get all aspects of this, because obviously... 
we're all very excited about i i love the storylines that we've seen from the various quests and whiskey so far and i like that it's not just a bottle of booze it's a bottle of booze and a story and quests end is a continuing ongoing story which i like this also now has the benefit for those who are huge fans of critical role to be telling you an in-universe story uh with this bottle it also comes with the medallion it's a whole super premium prop collector piece and then ultimately on top of all that it's booze so really it's a win-win for me i did not ever think we'd be at this point in the cool kind of products tied to ttrpgs but i gotta tell you i am here for it 100 percent. so let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below as of you seeing this it will now probably have been widely announced that this is a thing that's happening but i wanted to make sure that i got in here and covered this as soon as possible also a shout out to the folks behind quests and whiskey for reaching out to seeing if i wanted to get this information and make a video out it so i could prep it for the ultimate release when things are announced and go live so anyway thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time